you will want to check with your doctor before beginning any exercise or dance program. By performing any fitness or dance exercises, you are performing them at your own risk. Center Stage Performing Arts Academy nor its instructors will be held responsible or liable for any injury or harm you sustain as a result of our dance program or online videos or any information shared on our website, emails, or social media. This includes Facebook, Instagram, and text messages. Thanks for your understanding. All right. You all ready for a little partnering workout? I'm here with Mr. Christian and Mr. Christian, and we're gonna get going. Okay, make sure that before you start this, you've already done the, there we go, now can you see? Um, well, we've done the warm-up video with Mr. Patrick and me, so that you're all warm and ready. Now we're gonna get a couple other things ready before we start. So, we're gonna start with arm circles. Take your hands out to the side and small circles forward. Keep them nice and fast and small and very well. And now turn your hands around and go backwards. We want to get our shoulders ready, get our arms ready, get our legs ready. Because this is going to be an all body weight workout today. Alright, now turn into big circles, backwards still. You can take your hands and Keep them flat or put it down if you want. Two more. And then big circles forward. So before we get into these, we really want all of our joints to have some nice, yeah, protective, uh, uh, I forget what that looks like, all out. So, yeah, <laughs> they're nice and ready to go. Okay, shake your arms out. Now, we're gonna take our hands make like check your thumbs, put it right next to the sides of our head, and take your elbows, try to make your elbows touch, and out. And in, and out. In, and out, in, and out, two more, in, out, and in, and out. Nice. Alright, let's get our legs going. Start a nice easy job. So squat, make sure that when you're doing this, your feet are about shoulder width apart, and you slightly wider. And when you go down, deep high, have your body travel straight down, not out in front of your feet or back behind. You want it, uh, your weight to be squarely over the middle of your feet. 20 squats, here we go. Ready, and Try and get as far down as you can without uh, overstressing your knees. If you feel anything be overly tight or click every time you do it, <laughs> uh, be careful. It's okay to not go quite as low to make sure that you don't injure yourself. 
At this point, I've completely lost count. Can you guys know where we are? 20? 20? Awesome. All right. Now, we're going to go straight into our yells, which, for this, one leg stays up. We're going to start with our left leg standing. Our right leg is going to come back and hinge with our body and reach down, touch the floor, back up. We're going to do 10 of those on each side. Ready? In. One. Two. Shake it out. If you need to stretch the hamstrings, give yourself a quick little stretch. But you know what? You're getting through it. Okay, so next up, we're going to superset push ups and window washers. So we'll get to the window wash. Uh, actually, let me show you now. So, push up form. Want to keep your hands pretty close to shoulder width apart. If you can, full flat body, 
sets down to the floor and back up, stopping just like an inch above the floor. Um, if that is a little difficult, you can do knees down push-ups. You might not want to do them at first, but as it goes on, you might need to switch to them. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and then window washers. Same uh, thing for the variations. Regular window washers are going to be, they're going to start in push-up position a little bit wider, so your hands are going to turn it out, and they're going to be fairly wide. You go down about halfway, and side to side. So, yep. So we're going to, uh, so we're going to superset, let's say, <laughs> Well, I'm not going to do that. Um, aim for, uh, for this, I'm not going to give a number because push ups are a very, like, just conditioning dependent thing. We're going to do a set of push ups and then a set of window washers. Um, window washers, I will say, try and get 10. Um, push ups just go to, like, not failure, but, like, okay, these last couple ones are tough. Okay. Yeah. So, ready? Push up set first. Ready? If those are difficult, go to your knees and do that. Alright, there we go. Push ups, ready, and Two, 
three, four, five, five. Woo! Yes. Oh, shake it out. And I'm going to demonstrate it over here. I want you guys to find a doorway and do this on your own time. We're keeping up as the abyss opens behind me. You're going to place your feet just inside the door, your hands right about at the level of your shoulders, and uh, back of your hands against the door frame. You let yourself back. In, reach up, out, out, huh. and down. Splinters. Splinters. Back, in, up, and down. Ideally, pressing against the door frame the whole time if your door frame isn't barely uh, painted OSB. <laughs> so, we're going to do this. I would, English. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're going to watch Mr. Christian do it this first time. Well, I'm going to do him over here. And the other Mr. Christian is going to be behind him in one of the lesson room doors. And we're going to do uh, 10 of these. And then after we finish that first set, I'll show you what we... Uh... Oh, yeah. No, that's it. Here we go. 10. <laughs> Ready, and let yourself out, and in, up, and down. That's one. Out, and in, up, and down. That's two. Out, and in, up, and down. That's three. Out, and in, up, and down. That's four. Out, and in, up, and down, that's five, out, and in, up, and down, that's six, out, and in, up, and down, that's seven, out, and in, up, and down, that's eight, out, and in, up, and down, nine, out, and in, up, and down, that's ten, whoo, shake it out. That was awesome. Yeah, right? So this is really, really, really good for your rotator cuff. And that's how I feel. Yep. Yep. You should really want to be feeling it the most up in your shoulders, along that upper back, and a little bit in your traps. This is especially good for just shoulder health and posture. Okay. So we're doorways. Oh, we're just going to have more set. Yep. Okay. Ten more. Here we go. Feet inside the doorway, in front of it, and to shoulder level, and out, and in, up, and down. That's one. Out, and in, up, and down. That's two. Out, and in, up, and down. That's three. Out, and in, up, and down. That's four. Out, and in, up, and down. That's five. Out, and in, up and down, that's six, out, and in, up, and down, that's seven, out, and in, last one, up, and down, that's eight. Woo! <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Double check the time. Oh, we are doing so good. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much more fun. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> next up, we're doing pike push-ups. So these, you have a couple options for this. You can do this on the floor, and you want your legs like straight, your arms up at about shoulder width, your elbows are going to flare out as you go down, and then up. If going all the way down is really tough, you can just go part way, 
but try and get as much of movement as you can. If you want a little extra challenge, you can grab a chair and do your plank push up from a chair. Put your hands on the floor, feet up on the chair, and push up like that. All right. This one, we're going to do just like the push ups, we're going to do sets to not failure because failing while doing these means you go crashing headfirst into the ground. So, <laughs> so we're going to do self maximal so just until they start feeling really hard. And if that's only after a couple, then I go to the floor. If that's really, really hard, just do partial movement. Um, it's kind of hard. You can't really do a knees version of this because you need that distance to get the right angle. But here we go. We're going to try for, uh, again, I'm not going to give you a number, just uh, self maximal. So go until it feels really, really hard. Um, if you're trying it with the chair and it's really, really hard, go to the floor. If you're on the floor and it's really, really hard, just do partial reps. Here we go. And then I'll show you what we superset that again. I'm joking. This is just a fun <laughs> set. So is there three sets of this or two? Oh, um, we're going to do two sets of this. All right, here we go. Hit the sound, one. So, hit the scars, one. And go. Check it out. Make sure that oh, we can actually. <laughs> All right. Let's close the doors to keep that cool there. So you want to be feeling this the most in your shoulders, your front delts here, your mid delts a bit, your rear delts a little are going to be working on how to keep yourself balanced, and then. Your triceps are going to be finishing that push and lock out. Yeah. Also, be careful while doing this that well, it's going to rush to your head. If you need to stop mid rep or mid, mid set and just go upright for a second to let it drain, great. Not bad. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ready for set two? Again, sub maximal. Don't push it all the way. We got more workout after this. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Get her tips. Get her tips. Oh, you're going to this one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Here we go. His hands ready. Hop into position. Really engage your core on this one. Keep everything in place. In. Now we're going to move on to our next exercise, which I'm going to point this way a little bit, because we're going to be using the wall. Okay. These wall push-ups, there are a couple different ways you can do them, and these different levels of wall push-up. The, uh, the two versions I'm going to show you up against the wall, uh, Either of those work just as well as the other. It's just about balance and what works best for you. If the wall push-up is too intense, because that's a lot, that's basically all of your body weight you're pushing up, then try just a wall stand and see how long you can hold that. 
if that's a little too much, then get your chair out and do some more pike push-ups from the chair. If that's too much, do some more pike push-ups on the floor. But this wall push-up, you can pick yourself up into a handstand against the wall that way. I'm not good at that, so I'm not going to try and demonstrate it. I prefer to put my hands in place here, get my foot up, walk myself up onto the wall, and walk my hands in. And then when I do this push-up, I want my head to be facing down. So when I go down, push myself up, I can kind of walk my feet back up. I'm going to take a second. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, get yourself ready. Um, I also recommend, if you're going to do this, have someone else in the room, just in case. Um, you can also spot each other. Um, if you have like a parent in the room, you can call someone for like a couple minutes to come in and just kind of brace their feet while you do your handstand push-ups. Someone you trust. Probably not a second. <laughs> okay. These, again, sub-maximal. Do as many as you can before it starts feeling too hard to do. <laughs> Excited. All right. Let's get in place. Uh, by the way, go for as much range of movement as you can. If you can't get all the way down, go part way. If you can't get part way, hold that handstand. I'm probably going to do a few and then hold handstand as long as I feel comfortable. All right, here we go. You ready? Get in position. Walk yourself in. And one. around a little, let some of that breath, blood bring out of your head, and out of your arms. This next one, if you feel good enough to do some handstand push-ups, great, do them. If not, do the handstand by itself. Alright, be careful. Be careful. Alright. Get our breath back. And, hey, close side. This is a lot of shoulder exercise. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going to try not to keep this positive mind, positive vibes, positive life. Today is your day. Bro. Live, laugh, love, boy. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Harvey Edwards. Does someone here get a board first? I went to Hogwarts. Hey, where's our sign, Natalie? Ha! Yeah, MC Squared, come on. She's not gonna watch this video. But, oh, she's Natalie! Natalie. Look out! Okay, guys, I message Miss Natalie. Direct message her. And say, oh, hey, yes. hashtag, or post on Instagram, hashtag MC Squared sign. She'll know. Hashtag aware, hashtag men <laughs> ah, Here we go. Up in the headstand. <laughs> Now that we've wasted enough time. Yeah, there you go. That was a couple of times. I tried to lose time. Up in position. And. To center, shake everything out. <sighs> All right, where did I put my phone? What's up next? There it is. Ha! Hey, we're only in 30 minutes. All right, this next one. 
Only uh, two laps. So, we are going to be doing some back stuff. Super band, super set, with, what did I say? Super set, oh, with uh, plank reach throughs. So, super band, face down, take our hands. So, legs and arms stay off the floor this whole time. You go from the front, around to the back, back around to the front. That's one. We're going to do ten of those. And then, we're going to superset with, on either side, plank reach throughs. So you get up on the side plank, body flat on the arm. And this arm is going to reach through and up. Through and up. Yeah, so we'll do 10 Supermans and 10 Plankers on either side. Let's start it. Is something? Maybe I'll call this an Aquaman if you want. Yes, Aquaman. Okay, I'm a lot of fan of Aquaman. Okay. Have you seen Jason Momoa and up through? And up and one. Front. Two. Down, seven, and down, eight, 
and tap. <laughs> Other side. Good position. Ready. And up. And down. That's two. And down. Three. And down. Four. And down. Five. And down. Six. And down. Seven. And down. Eight. And down. Aquaman, and then five and five. Here we go. Legs out, arms out, and up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it, and down. All right. Left side, five. You can do five, right? Anyone can do five. I'm doing five right now. Ready? I'm doing One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down. Good job. Right side. Three up. Body. Up. And. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. And. Five. Down. Woo! Enjoy that brief rest. Get your breath back. Shake out stuff. I don't know about you, but my shoulders and my back and my core are all feeling it. So when you said the last set, I thought you had another workout. No. <laughs> we got one last thing left. This is a burnout. Dang it. So what that means is this exercise you do until you can't do no more. This is going to be sphinx. It's sphinxes. Sphinx. Sphinx side. Sphinxies. 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 Yep. Something like pieces. <laughs> so. Sphinx. Make sure, um, make sure you're on something that won't slip for this. I'm going to do my best. But we start with our elbows directly under our shoulders, hands on, and we press from here. Up no, and down. Up and down. If that is tough, knees. Up and down. To be honest, at this point, I might do knees pretty quickly. Yeah. But we're going to do spaces until you can't sphinx any bar. And then hold that last push up position as long as you can. And then Lower down as slowly as you can to the floor. Get it done. You ready? Okay. All right. Do your best. We're going to do our best. If for some reason that stance feels too easy for you, <laughs> you can do it in a high position too. You can do up and down. <laughs> the sense. Ready? Get in position as many as you can. And. <laughs> oh, that's my last. On my feet. I'm going to switch to knees. Yeah. 
move back to a push-up position. Hold this as long as you can. Everything's starting to shake. And once I'm not feeling it, get a little lower as slowly as I can to the floor. And that is all she wrote. We're done. <laughs> Good job, boys. Good job. Social distance and high five. All right. This is just a little bit of stretching to make sure that we don't break. Let's see that for a second. Come on, come on. So, <laughs> let me tilt this back up a little bit. All right. Woo! Um, turns. Just shoulder slaps. Keep that going for a sec. Get everything kind of shaken out. All right, I know this is so important. That would be fine. Oh, that would be so sad. All right. Give yourself a little right arm swing. And forward. Left arm back. <laughs> That's back. And forward. You know, thinking about it, this app, we should definitely do this video. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, tag her in Instagram. Take a video or a photo of yourself doing this workout. Tag at CenterCHTM and tag Miss Natalie, hashtag MC squared workshop, hashtag MC squared sign, hashtag where's that sign? Where's that sign? And front. I love that. Ooh, awesome. Yeah. Try this. Just don't pop stir. Spread your legs a little wide. Yeah, one of your heart is just stirring. Oh, I took this straight out of the United Yes. So I to switch it up to the other direction. <laughs> okay. What kind of suit you got to go in? suit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and other arm. <laughs> and other arm. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, title of the video. Terrorist suit. Yes. You know that scene in Guardians, right? Yeah, the other way. Which one? That scene in Guardians where um, the dude's sitting on the ship listening to, uh, uh, Wait, man. Yes. Yes. and he goes, Sue, Sue. Ah. And now, that is how they go. Come on. Come on. Alright. Now. Oh, so just a little stretch up. Yeah. Take one arm across. And then sweep it up and over. Take that elbow and the blood like swimming into it. Nice. Other arm across. And up and over. Left foot up. 
Take your right foot up and over that knee. And stretch those hips. You should feel this. Keep your right foot yeah. your chest to your legs and try to keep your, your back as straight as you can. Sit into it and find that good spot. And breathe. Okay, now sit down, let that foot come down to the floor, reach your right arm across your leg or cut your knee to your chest. Whichever it fits you feel better. Most of the stretch should be your full, your hip right here. Love you guys. See you next week.